So we're at the close with just two things left to do. Uh, you know, when we started at the beginning of today, we, we talked about, uh, you know, using some frameworks to, to look at all the content that we're going to be exposed to and how to process it and reflect on it. And I, I just want to share one thing real quick because I thought this is pr particularly interesting. I, I love it when you can find themes from one thing earlier and, and bring it forward. Uh, we, we talked this morning about how innovation is a process, it's not a project. And, the, and, and it has a process, how it keeps going. And, and I think to the, the panel that we just talked about, where we're talking about ethical marketing and privacy and security and responsibility, that's part of that process. These are things that come up. They're, they're more than bumps, but they're bumps, you know, that we, that we have to deal with. And, and I th it's, it's, it's always interesting how whenever we try to solve one problem, we open up new problems. And then those need solving, and we kind of create this end of its loop. So that, that was a reflection that I took away. Uh, Charlie, anything that you wanted to share in terms of your prism oh, and your takeaways nothing. from the day? Yeah, well, just one really quick one, or one or two. And, that, and that's, uh, I love how you were talking about getting from the why to the how. Um, and the, regarding the assumptions, um, I love the idea that we have to be mindful that, that change means loss, but it doesn't have to. It's a process of becoming. And we sometimes tend to focus on, on what we lose um, at the expense of realizing what we can gain. And that goes both ways, too. We sometimes look at an innovation and think, boy, we're going to get that awesome prize. And then we're not really aware of the idea that we have to give up something. And it might be a little uncomfortable. So the other, only other thing was, um, I loved what Ashley said re regarding design provocation. Um, design for provocation, but design provocation, but has a built-in functionality. Um, I love that. And uh, what does it mean to be culturally relevant? Which I think is a, a constant question that we are, especially moving forward in, in, in these technologies, are going to be asking ourselves and defining. Uh, one, one last thing that I'll, I'll point out too that it was uh, it said, uh, Melissa, on, on my panel earlier. It, talked about the, the uh, paying attention to the humanness uh, that comes as part of the innovation process. And I think that is very, we focus so much on the technology and we forget how, the effect that, that that technology and that change has on our behavior, on, a, on us as people and us as human beings. And when we can understand that, I think it's gonna make us all better at what we're doing. Yeah. I see Kate smiling. smiling. She wrote a whole book about it. Oh, She'll tell I you about it. that. I love it, I love it. Oh, and, and how about this from Philip earlier? Um, create a filter for the future. I like that. I, like it. it's, I think it's important when you have that sort of prism, whatever right. it is, <laughs> right. any sort of filter is gonna help you block out the noise. Exactly. I'd be curious, we're gonna uh, uh, end in just a second uh, with Chick Fox Grover. I, before you do, does anybody else have, from you guys have some reflections that you would like to share? about having taken it all in. Please. I know you didn't know we were gonna ask that, so it's, we're putting you on the spot. Anything we can take away that, bless you. No. Can we okay. all become creative wizards? I think we should uh, That was on my list that. too. <laughs> I like that. You know, what, what, a great, what a great term too, the, the, the techno wizard. Um, and your suggestion to just go do it. Build the ethical framework, don't wait for somebody else to do it. Like yeah. if you just. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ben. Uh, yeah, um, I happen to cover a lot of, uh, I guess, data agency acquisitions. I, yeah. I covered a lot of the data agency acquisitions as part of the drum last year, and just hearing this conversation from uh, from the ladies, especially uh, Mara from Mozilla, you know, I feel like since most of us here are agency people, I feel like it's our responsibility to, you know, ensure that our data partners within our holding companies, like what are they using this data for? Like how are they using it in an efficient way? Uh, as I tweeted a few seconds ago, like at very least and at very best, like data only serves as a gut check to a gut feeling. We're already seeing some of the worst uh, to come and you know, with the amount of distrust that CMOs have and the amount of distrust that consumers have, I mean, we need to, start maybe being proactive ab about those acquisitions and, and what those could potentially mean for the creative process. Because when all that money is being shifted away from you know, creative people actually coming up with innovative solutions you know, and potentially using you know, a good amount of data sets for the right reasons, then we're just left with a lot more waste than 
than we had maybe a couple of years ago. Great takeaways. Um, let's bring Chick down. Come on, Chick. Pressure's Here. on. <laughs> is this on? This is on? Yes, thank you. Uh, we, as, as this ends our part of the uh, program, can we just say thank you, Chick, for having us? <laughs> Thanks for putting thank you all. Yeah. Yeah. This is